what's up everybody it's your girl alex happy vlogtober day four thank you again for coming back and tuning in with us if this is your first time we appreciate you for clicking on our video and stopping by for vlogtober so today y'all i will be doing the initial setup by initial setup i mean when you walk up to our house I'm gonna decorate the like outside of the apartment as well as our patio. Um, if you have not, please check out Vlogtober Day One. That is where we did our first official shopping haul. Um, I did grab a few things. I did not grab a lot. I may step out and go and get some more things. It just depends on once I get out there, get everything swept off, cleaned off, sprayed off, and set up. That'll determine whether or not I say, come on, Antonia, let's go to the store. Um, baby girl is napping, y'all. She was tired. And mama was just like, okay, that's fine. Like, you want to take a nap? You can take a nap. That is no problem with me. I don't got a problem. I don't got a problem <laughs> but yes y'all so thanks again please be sure to hit that like button make sure if you are not subscribed go ahead and subscribe make sure you hit that notification bell so you get an alert every day that we are posting for vlogtober and don't forget to comment talk to me okay i want to talk to you talk to me we can be friends yes y'all and don't forget to share this video front entrance very simple we live in an apartment we can't do things big i love a lot of like the fall like large welcome signs that you can stand up in front of your doors those things are ideal for when we have a home but because we're in an apartment we're gonna keep it simple because i don't want to put nice things out for it to be destroyed by other people their dogs all kind of stuff when they coming in and they cleaning and spraying the buildings, power washing. I just don't want our stuff to be ruined. Um, as you guys saw, I always make sure that I sweep off the front um, area. I don't do bugs, okay? Don't do them at all. So I go ahead, make sure that um, I knock down any webs that are hanging around my door, sweep. Um, I swept off the mat. Y'all saw me spraying, yes, bug spray. If you ain't dead, you're gonna die. And then that little barrier, that white powder that I was sprinkling, that's boric acid. It's odorless, but if any bugs, especially considering that we live on the first floor of an apartment, it's not perfectly sealed. So for any bugs that try to make their way into our house via the front door, the back door, anything like that, I put that powder seal around because when they eat it, they gonna die. So. If you try to make your way in here, honey, I'm going to be sweeping you up later. Um, so I am going to go ahead and sweep off the patio, go ahead and spray, put down the barrier, same again, and then I'll do a little bit of decorating out here.
to the store because our little hook that's there I need something to hang there I know in our first um, initial vlogtober video Brennan showed you guys the hanger and he said that that was gonna be outside that's not coming outside that's way too nice to come outside that is going to go in the kitchen so I may go by either Dollar Tree or Michaels and see what little fall um, door hangers that they have um, to be able to put something out here and then I would love to put some pillows out here I'm just a little concerned about the cleanliness of it I don't want bugs to like get in the pillows and stuff if it rains I don't want them to get wet I mean like obviously I could bring them in the house if I know that it's gonna rain um but yes I definitely have to get a door hanger um I will look at some pillows me and Antonia will go out and look for some pillows um but yeah this is our first little setup I did go ahead and bring out the double-sided uh, Gorilla Tape. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> but I brought it out here so when Brandon gets off work, I can come out here with him and we can try to do it together. Um, the good thing is, is he gets off at five today and not six. So we'll still have plenty of daylight to be able to come out here and make sure that the screen is secure. We probably will go ahead and do the bottom um, layer as well. So that way when the wind is blowing, we don't have to worry about too much of the straw and um, mulch and stuff being blown on the patio. So yes, y'all, that's what I got so far. Let me know how I did, okay? this is new for me so please y'all give me some ideas okay we'll catch y'all later when Brandon gets home hey y'all I'm back no Brandon's not home yet but I just had a brain pop so I recently sent Brandon a clean home schedule and I asked him to print like 50,000 copies out for me and I wanted to share it with y'all. So here's the one that is posted in our bathroom. Now, the whole purpose of this is to intend to keep the house clean. There are a lot of times where I have a hard day at school y'all I come home I'm literally exhausted and I just feel like there are 50 million things that I have to do and that's stressful for me I get overwhelmed very quickly and the thought of knowing that I have like lesson plans to prepare or you know cooking dinner and then on top of that there's a long list of things to do I just get so frustrated and I just shut down. So I have Brandon print these out. This is the one that's in our bathroom. There is one located on the refrigerator in the kitchen, inside the laundry room, as well as in the office. So no matter where I am in the house, I can see that list. And as y'all saw, it is labeled Monday through Saturday. So the intent is, hey, it's Monday. Look at what Monday says and only do what Monday says. So that way I don't feel like I'm drowning in chores. And it's a great way for when Brandon comes home, okay, well, hey, what did you not get done today? Well, hey, take a look at Monday and see, see what I didn't do. And then he can help out and kind of fill in the gaps as well as if he has a hard day at work, He's coming home, he's stressed out. It just kind of gives us that wiggle room to feel like, okay, it'll get done, but it doesn't have to be done today. So I just wanted to share that with y'all because I was really excited about it. And I was like, oh, thanks babe for getting this because love it. Y'all, I chose today to go ahead and pull out all my fall clothes. So, so far I have only pulled out the sweaters. I'm getting ready to grab my bin from under the bed and I'm gonna go ahead and pull out everything that I saved from fall and winter go ahead and just switch out my clothes this is a perfect opportunity for me to go ahead and assess what did I not wear for summer and spring am I ever gonna wear it can I fit it and does it even need to be packed for next year so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and 
cover the bed completely as y'all see our laundry piles are here and the only thing that i was supposed to wash today were towels i did i washed the towels i folded the towels the towels are put away but because i want to go ahead and change out my clothes i went ahead and pre-sorted all of the laundry that needs to be done so nothing's in the hamper so that way i looked and saw what were summer items what were spring items that need to be washed i'm just gonna go ahead and do those loads and those loads only so that way I can pack those clothes. Everything else is gonna sit right here until Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday. Okay? Okay. <laughs> but yes, y'all. So let's check out what I got, what I kept, and what I'm gonna throw away. <laughs> this is my scarf y'all this scarf is so soft but it literally it it's like it molts like no matter what you're wearing if you put this scarf on this fabric is going to be on every single thing that's the only thing I don't like so I don't know if I'm gonna keep this but I gotta take it out long bins I have had these since I was a freshman in college these bins have been with me since 2013 there's some durable bins I think I got these at Walmart I'm almost 100% sure I got these out of Walmart and the sole purpose that I got them was because they had wheels on them and they were long I was staying in a dorm. If you knew anything about dorm living, you didn't have no closet. You had a cubby. So, y'all, these things been rocking with me since 2013. All right, y'all. So, these are all the clothes that I kept from last year. And again, jeans are already out. I don't put my jeans up because I wear them year round. So my jeans are over there in a pile on the floor to be washed. But this is what I have that I kept from last year. So I'm going to go through this, look and see, like I said, what I wore, what I know I'll probably wear again, what I will never wear again, and then I will create um, a giveaway pile. And I say create because I know I could be donating stuff, but y'all, the process of donating is very tedious because now with COVID, they don't accept certain things. And I'm not finna sit here to try to go through this with you. I'm used to a, you bring a bag, you drop a bag off, thank you. Would you like a receipt to file on your taxes? No, great, have a good day. So, some of this stuff might be going to the trash. But then too, if I trash it, it's because I've had it for years and don't nobody need to be getting that that's toe up. So I'm going to go through this. I will show y'all what I kept versus what I did not keep. And then um, I will try to start pulling everything out of the closet if you know anything about brandon and i we have way too many clothes okay our closet space is an issue i'm gonna go ahead and sift through like i said i will excuse me i will show you the pile of things that i will be either donating or giving away or throwing away and then i'm going to find places in this little apartment to hang up my clothes and yeah we gonna see how it go <laughs> All right, hey y'all. <gasps> hey, Antonia. Hey. Hey. How you doing? Doing. 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 You got some yummy mac and cheese, green apples, and honeydew melon. Mmm, melon. So y'all, this little pile. This is the only little bit of stuff that I will be donating and giving away. Um, the reason I'm giving away this toboggan is because it was given to me for my previous job and it's got their logo on it and yeah I'm not gonna walk around wearing stuff with their logo on it 
um as well as this uh purple hoodie it's got their name on it um and the year that they were established as well as just a few uh scarves that i never really ended up wearing um so yeah everything is staying i ended up finding another sweater um that was in the guest room so the majority of everything that i have needs to be hung up my leggings and obviously my t-shirts uh, i mean my long sleeve shirts i will go ahead and start putting those in the drawers um i have already started packing my bathing suits i went ahead and put all of my long socks over here in my drawer, got my Christmas socks out, my footies. So I went ahead and put that away. Um, again, like I said, all of this has to be hung up. Where I'ma hang it, only the Lord knows. But yes, now I am getting ready to venture into our closet. Y'all, this is so ghetto. Like, look at this. We already do not have any space for anything like these old navy flip-flops they still got the tag on them i bought them years ago when old navy had their one dollar flip-flop sale and i'm just like they're a dollar get them in every color yeah now i still have them and i still ain't popped a tag off of them so why keep them get rid of them even in like the few summer items that i have hanging y'all see this closet it's all branded stuff that's taking up all the space i just want you to see his shirts go all the way up to here this black jacket is mine so literally from here all the way over is his stuff and then you come to my little bit of work clothes and i get it women's clothes are a lot smaller they're compact whatever but y'all i only got from here to here that's it this is all i got from this jacket to there and then technically this hanger ain't even mine because it's full of brandon's ties because he has a whole drawer full of ties and those won't fit in there we are in need in dire need <laughs> of a bigger closet me and baby girl are going to run out to dollar tree or michael's or wherever um to see if we can find some stuff so yeah y'all vlogtober day four this is exciting this is exciting y'all are y'all excited because i am excited like I didn't think that I was going to be doing this today, but it's a beautiful day. I had the time. Why not do it? So I'm going to finish doing it and then we're going to see y'all at the store. All right, y'all. So as you can see, we are in Dollar Tree and they have a very, very small section. So I'm going to see if we can see something we like. Stopped by my girlfriend's house yesterday to go back and get my food that we left over there last night. But wanted to show y'all the extras that we got at Dollar Tree. <laughs> so of course, you guys saw this. I'm getting ready to pop the tag off of it and go ahead and hang it up outside. But then we were just walking around at Dollar Tree and I realized we bought small minor things for the kitchen, like the soap and the little thing to hang on the wall. I got this cute little pond or set. Got that. I got the little small ones. And then I got a dish drying mat because I still use dish drying mats. We currently have one up right now, but it is not a fall dish drying mat. So I was like, oh my God, I need to get this. And then 
I got these, I got these two hanging towels that'll go hanging from the oven. So yeah, I just wanted to show y'all my quick little add-ins. Um, Brandon is here. I don't know what he doing because y'all see it's me keep coming back and forth messing with me. So I don't know what he doing, but we about to go find out. Yes, that's the receipt. Where's daddy? Is daddy in the room? Room. Hey, Papa. Hi. Y'all, let's talk about this mess. This is the only thing that got added to the giveaway pile. A hat from my previous job and a dress. This is all the stuff that's getting thrown away. I did not find any room to hang up my stuff. And this is the little bit of stuff that's getting packed up for spring. That is pitiful. I know. But Papa, this is what I found to go hanging outside. You want to come out with me? Sure. All right, we're going to go out together. We're going to go out together, y'all. Oh. <laughs> oh. Apple. No, not apple. Pumpkin. Pumpkins? Apple. Pumpkins. Pumpkin. Say pumpkin. Apple. Pumpkin. Not apple. It's not an apple. <laughs> I just think that Antonia is in agreement with me that apples should have been the go-to fall fruit instead of pumpkins. Um, but, oh yeah, I like this. Mm. So that is there. And like I said, I'm going to look for some little pillows to add for our chairs. Um, we will do the tape to keep this down. So that way the wind can stop blowing it up and letting the flies in when I done kept, got all the flies I'm out. I see that those are up there so I can have, the lights can hang from the Yep. Yep. Right. That is all that we have for Vlogtober day four. I will eventually, at some point, find space to hang up all my stuff, but it won't be today. Mm -hmm. Because I've done a lot today. And y'all have been hanging in with me because my good friend was still working. How was that work? Still working. But I do appreciate y'all for hanging out with me and seeing me do the initial setup for the outdoor. Y'all got to see our front little entrance. And no, I didn't take our monogrammed M down because... One, I really, really like it, and I personalized that myself, and I had the woman hand make it, so I'm not taking that down. And two, like I stated, we're in an apartment, so our decorations for outdoor are going to be very minimal because we don't want anything to get damaged. We don't want anybody to try to steal blown anything. Away. We don't want things to get blown away. Um, but yes, so leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about our outdoor decorations. If you know where I can find some outdoor pillows to add to our chairs, please leave a comment down. Let me know. Tell me where to go, okay? Mm -hmm. And um, yes, y'all also comment and let me know how you're exchanging between seasonal clothes goes because y'all see i'm struggling okay so y'all comment and let me know how that goes for y'all maybe you can give me some helpful tips hints to use in the future um and if you have not already please give our video a thumbs up please go ahead and subscribe if you are not subscribed please go ahead and share this video and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can get alerts on every day for vlogtober period period poo Yes, y'all. I feel like I ain't been here all day because I ain't seen nothing. I ain't seen nothing. It's okay because he gonna see it because he gotta edit it. But yes, y'all, we love y'all. We appreciate y'all for coming back each and every day and continue to come back each and every day until October 31st and then to the beyond. But we love mm -hmm. y'all and always remember to be the change that you want to see. Antonia, say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.